What's up guys? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. So today we're doing an unboxing and a setup of the new Fitbit Force. Now this is Fitbit's latest device. Um, previously to this they had the Fitbit Flex, uh, which also was a wrist style device. In fact, I've been wearing it now for going on six months and I've been wearing it pretty much religiously every single day, making sure I track my sleep, uh, making sure I track my calories, making sure I track how active I am and how many steps I take. Again, as I stated in the previous video, I don't do as much cardio as I wanted to, but I have had this to actually tell me how active I am. And honestly, I have increased my cardio within that time frame. Not as much as some of the friends that have added me on Fitbit though. I don't run as much as they do. I mean, there's some people that have like hundreds of thousands of steps a week. I, I can't keep up to that. But this is a very, very cool um, product and we're gonna go ahead and unbox this one. So just like the Fitbit Flex, it's very similar in that it's a wrist style, okay? And the unboxing is very straightforward. It has this thing, which you don't need. It has um, the actual device itself, and one of the big differences you'll tell from this device and the unboxing uh, with the Fitbit Flex is that the Fitbit Flex came with an extra band. This one, you have to choose your size band before you actually get the product. You can't actually get it and then say, oh, this is not my size. I guess you can. You can return it back to a store. But you need to know your size beforehand. And what Fitbit did was, on the website, they made a very little handy tool that you can use and just put your wrist up to the screen. Or if you buy it in the store, you use this to kind of gauge how wide your wrist is and what size you should get for the actual band. Very handy indeed. And the reason for that is, they're vastly different. Now go into the differences between the two in another video. For this one, we're just going to unbox, set up, and then I'll go into the kind of the review and the differences between the two in another video. So very straightforward with this one. Has a guide, which you really don't need if you're watching this video. Has a pro proprietary charging tool. This one. It's a USB, so it pretty much connects to anything. And then it has their dongle. Uh, basically, this is what you'll use if you have a computer to set it up. Now, one of the big questions that I got on the previous video was, can I set this up if I do not have a computer? Or for example, if you have just an iPad. There are a lot of people these days that just have iPads, um, that just have tablets at home that don't actually have a USB plug or anything like that in them. Absolutely, you can. And it's actually very, very simple. So I'll touch on that very quickly on this video as well. So, now that we've unboxed it, literally there's nothing else inside of this box. We don't need it anymore. Now what we're going to do now is go right into the setup. So, let's go through the setup on the computer and I'll show you how to do the setup on your mobile device as well. Let's get into it. So literally guys, all you're going to do is go to fitbit.com forward slash setup. Once you go to the site, you obviously have a plethora of products that they have put out from the Flex to the One to the Zip to the Aria, which is their weight device, um, and then the Ultra. You're going to click on the one you have. In this case, you got the Force. So just click download here. It's going to open up the file or download the file. Quick little download. It's a very small file indeed. Open it up. Hit run. Hit OK. It's going to process blah 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 you're waiting and then you're gonna hit next install yes you accept install next install blah done that's it very straightforward now it's gonna install now if you already have previously this set up just click OK it's gonna close out your previous document and then reopen um, or continue the installation process Nothing really new here. It just goes through the installation process. And again, this is strictly on the PC. I'm going to go a little bit later um, on how to set it up on a mobile device. It's very, very easy. And you don't have to download anything other than the app itself. Now, we're going to go ahead and set up a new Fitbit device. Click on that. And now here's where things kind of change up. I'll put up a video down in the description or the link down in the description on how to set it up. For a new Fitbit user, it is literally the same thing as the Flex that I did before. In this case, I'm going to set it up as if you're an existing user. So we're going to click on this one and go right into it. And it's going to ask you to log in. Easy enough. 
put in your password, you can log into Facebook or Google+, doesn't really matter. And it says, if you're an existing user, it's going to tell you, hey, you can't have two trackers. Do you want to drop the other one? Yes, you do. Give away the other one to a friend. I don't know. Sell it. Do whatever you want with it. Um, and then just hit yes. And this is going to be very straightforward, guys. It takes you right into setting up your birth date. Your birthday is obviously the same. Whatever your height is, how much you weigh. Me, I actually dropped two pounds since the last time I actually updated this. Click on the force. That's the product you're setting up. What's in the box? Blah, blah, blah. We went through all this over before. It's going to search for your force. Now, what it's going to do here is, that's going to be different from the flex, is that it's actually going to give you a code. So the code is actually, it's going to be a four-digit code, and it's going to pop up on the actual screen of the force. That code you're going to use to install for the device, or actually to sync up for the device. And it's a new code every single time, so if you mess up, or if, you know, for some reason you don't set it up right, or you want to set it up differently on your mobile device, it's going to be a new code. Put in the code, hit next, it's going to connect to the Fitbit. Again, it's connecting strictly through the dongle. Um... Very easy, straightforward, and that's it. Your force is linked, and it's ready to go. Now you just gotta put it on your wristband. It's gonna tell you exactly what it does. Obviously, just like the other one, it tracks your steps. The big difference is it um, calculates how many floors you've climbed, your activity, your distance, and everything is right there now for you. So we'll go over that in a little bit. Once you're done with the setup, it takes you to your dashboard. Dashboard is no different. Um, if this is the first time you've seen this dashboard, the cool thing is you can customize this thing however you want. It's very, very easy. Um, you can highlight whatever areas you want to highlight, change up whatever goals you want to change up, and check out my previous video for that. Now let's go right into the other one. So here you go, guys. I'm going to show you exactly how to set up the Fitbit Force on your mobile device if you don't already have a computer at home. It's very, very easy. You'll probably start off on your dashboard. Here's your dashboard. You wanna click on your account and click set up a new device. That's it. Device to set up, click on the force, click replace, sure, hit next. Follow along on the prompt and it's very straightforward. It's gonna search for it. It's gonna find it very, very easily. So the setup is gonna be very similar in that it's actually gonna give you a code to set up your device and if I'm not mistaken this code is actually different it actually is different each time that you try to set up the device that's it it's connecting the one thing I will say is that connecting through here it'll take a little bit longer than uh, setting it up on a PC but it's the same exact thing put the wrist on hit next it is literally the exact same setup if you guys want add me up as a friend would love to have you as a friend on this thing um, looks like I have a friend request from Bangalore. Cool. Accepted. That's it. So that's it. That's the setup process, guys. Very straightforward. Very easy. Hopefully you guys found that as, uh, as cool as I did. So that's it, guys. That's how easy it was to actually set up the Fitbit Force if you already previously have an account. Now, if you have a new account, what I'll do is I'll put a description right here or a link right here and down in the, in, in the description down below to exactly the point that you want to go to on my previous video to set up your Fitbit. It is literally the exact same process. They changed nothing with this. They honestly didn't have to. It was perfect. But if you have an existing device, this one worked out great. You can watch this video with the setup before and it should work out perfect for you. So, as always guys, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, check out my other reviews that I've done as well on the channel. I've done Bluetooth devices, and as well as other fitness stuff that I've reviewed. As always, catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later.